So I want to show you my 6th grade math interactive notebook. When you purchase the interactive notebook, you will actually be receiving a PDF. You will see that the PDF, um, there's two different PDFs. There's the actual notebook and then there's the answer key. So I will show you um, the notebook that you will be receiving. I actually took this um, PDF and I went to Office Max and I had them print a hard copy so that I can have my own um, teacher edition. So here is the sixth grade notebook. Um, this one is, you can see it's, it goes up to 99 pages. Um, so you can see all of it as a PDF. And then I'm just going to go through and show you the hard copy that I got. There's uh, lots of um, foldables, cutouts, things like that. And then at the very end, there are some templates on there um, for vocabulary, um, and just filling in anything else for uh, terms that you'd like students to know, um, some foldables. So I'm going to show you. I went to Office Max. I had them actually, uh, again, make it into a hard copy um, so that I can have myself a copy and, and have it very organized. You'll see it comes with uh, number sense, ratios and proportional uh, relationships, um, expressions, and equations, geometry, statistics, and probability. Um, there is a all about me that you can have students fill out the first page. Uh, their math notebook, their expectations, your reasons for it, and then they will sign it and date it. Uh, this is the grading rubric. Um, for first quarter, second, third, and fourth, I put um, out of one point for each of these and uh, for organization and parents and then completeness, they're out of three and you can write your teacher comments. But I also included a blank template to where you can decide if you want to change um, the grading scale um, if you do not like my grading scale. Um, you will also see I have a math reference sheet, table of contents, and then I also have um, goals. First quarter, second, third, and fourth, uh, you can make multiple copies of this so that they can set goals for first quarter and then another one for second quarter. Um, this one's a look back to see if they accomplish their goal or not. Um, here's a reflection. I actually use this page quite a bit. I will have students, um, I will do direct instruction with um, the actual standards and then I will have them reflect upon what they learned and give an example and write a, and draw a, a visual of what they learned. So you will see I'm getting into the number sense. Okay, so here's the first one. I actually have the standards um, up above and then there's a I can statement in the answer key the I can statement I um, have provided for you but you can always change it uh, to whatever you like um, and then here's just I'm going to go through so you can see the different problems again they do have some cutouts um, and there will be some cut and paste where they're going to have to um, need glue. Also, um, color pencils, markers, crowns, they can make it very colorful. Here's some cut and paste activities. They will cut and paste the ice cream onto um, the, the cup. And then, just a quick go through. Okay, 
This is pretty much all for number cent. Um, at the very end of each standard, there will be this matching activity, which is their vocab. You can decide if you want to do this in the beginning or not. Um, but they're little cell phone um, templates. And then there's a couple of blank ones if you want to add any additional vocab. But they will take these, cut them out, and fold on the solid line and then they will glue those according to which one is the correct vocab. Um, it's just really nice for them to have so that they know what the uh, vocab is for the whole standard. So again you can do that in the beginning or towards the end. And then you'll see we're getting into the next standard. Um, this is ratios and proportional relationships. Again, I'm going to go through quickly so you can see another cut and paste. Cut and paste with the gumballs. And then here's the um, matching for the vocabulary. And then we're into expressions and equations. Some more cut and paste. I'm going to skip a few pages. So that you can see the cell phone templates. And then here I'm into geometry. A foldable. They'll cut these out, the cubes. There's your cell phones. And then your last standard is statistics and probability. And you'll see another foldable statistics. And then you have the um, cell phone template again. And then the very end is what they learned um, the school year. And then just again the blank templates. Um, if you like what you see, you will find a, a link at the very bottom where you can go and you can purchase this uh, interactive notebook. If you have any questions at all, um, you can also email me. Uh, thank you for watching my video.